guys, so let's do it again. So we're gonna play the music. We're gonna test these speakers, right? gets loud so this is a death bounce 6x9 speakers worst review with as you can see the reviews are horrible they put the three stars two stars reason why they put the bad, bad reviews i'm gonna tell you and we're gonna install amplifiers we're gonna run the multiple uh, scenarios this is a apx 69a i have a timpani audio uh, the audio this is small digital amplifier but i'm not running that i'm running straight from this head unit so head unit i bought from just a you know from the amazon is a no brain it's not the alpine it's not the pioneer but surprisingly really really good head unit it's as you can see when i'm clicking there is no lag at all and it has a 40 gigabytes uh the memory so you can load a lot of music movies all that stuff right and it says gps all that stuff like surprisingly i put the links on description so back to the speakers a lot of guys put the bad review because they just installed to the head unit i'm going to show you in this scenario but this is a pro audio speakers guys so you have to run these speakers at the 80 hertz to 20,000 hertz these are uh, tweeters very nice and clean bright tweeters uh they will play a lot loud and clean it, it doesn't meant for the bass right now if you want the bass you're gonna buy another speakers i did the comparison these speakers with the tons of different speakers also i'm gonna compare these with the pro uh the prvs or the ds80 6x9s and we're gonna see how these uh this, the speakers perform and also i have a pioneer the same uh the fit and finish same same kind of uh, the speakers right i bought this head unit to show you what's gonna happen when you run just a factory head unit right but it's still when you connect to the amplifier for these guys it's gonna be a total different scenario <laughs> please use your headphones guys it, it's, it's gonna be a total different experience when you're using the headphones right this speaker still is gonna give you the bass but it's there is nothing like a smooth nice bass like a regular your alpine speakers or you know the pioneers anything like that the regular six pioneer speakers right so that's why this is a pro audio it mentioned it has to be used with the subwoofer uh, when you get another uh, the one star the guy get uh, the like just mine you see that the grill is very very nice but it's got damage when uh, the shipping so UPS guys always they, they throw it around and the packaging is not bad at all but it's always the you know the grill it's gonna get damaged so that's why they're gonna get the, the bad star so let's let, let me switch to the amplifier and continue the test right all right, let's go. I connect the amplifier. As you can see, this is the gain right here. It's uh, around 50%, all right? I'm gonna do around 65%, right? And the volume, it's it's almost a million, right? 
All right, so the volume is almost minimum. I'm gonna cut this guys a lot lower. So this is a tiny monster amplifier. I did a tons of review, watch my other videos. Um, I did the everything is a separate reviews, right? So on this amplifier, you can do like a low pass, high pass, or you know, the clean exactly to use this kind of uh, speakers. On this tiny amplifier, you can run four of these speakers without any problem. And this tiny amplifier is gonna rock and roll these pro audio speakers, right? Let's see how these speakers gonna run on this amplifier. Let me let me make it louder. It's only 30% volume. I'm running this amplifier with the 4 ohm right now for the each speaker, right? And the 50% gain, and it's like, it's crazy loud, right? All right, as you can see, I'm running only the 50%, this little amplifier, right? Only 50%. And this head unit, like all the head units, after 80%, it's gonna get uh, start distortion, right? So on this scenario, as you can see, you need the amplifier to run these speakers. If you're planning just to buy it and install it for the factory, no amplifier head units, please guys, do not buy these speakers. These speakers need the power. This is a pro, amp pro audio speakers. So you need at least something like this. Install something like a small amplifier. These amplifiers are like around 80 to $100, right? And you're gonna have like totally, total different level of the sound output. I'm gonna run the different music one more time. All right, 50%. So this amplifier, if you run uh, with the 2 ohm, it's a 2 ohm stable. If you run the, each channel to these speakers, it's going to be like a, almost a double the sound, right? So you're going to get a lot of loudness. Bass-wise, as you can see, it gets a lot of punchy bass. But this, this speaker is just a 80 hertz. It means like a punchy bass, not the low bass. Punchy bass to all the way up, you know, 20,000 hertz. Tweeters are amazing, very nice and crystal clear, bright and loud tweeters. So you can adjust your equalizer, how, how am I doing here, and you can get a really, really good sound. Just, you know, unfortunately guys doesn't know about the speakers, nothing. So they bought these speakers, installed it and running the, from the factory head unit. And that's why they, they don't like how this sounds because they, they're losing all the bass. You need small amp small amplifier for these monsters. You, you can okay you can, with the aftermarket head unit you can run them but you're not gonna have all the potential right this is made for this is like f1 car so it's made for the racing so make the like, out loud and crystal clear sound so yeah this is my review guys definitely uh, I, I love these speakers like all the you know other dev one speakers i have uh, some tweeters from them and i'm gonna run these speakers that the similar speakers with the side by side i think by the sound quality and the punchiness I think this speaker is going to destroy many, many speakers, like, uh, from different brands, right? So, my favorite music here. Uh,
Yeah, you stupid. You shouldn't give that much bass for these speakers. <laughs> you shouldn't give any bass even close for these speakers, right? These speakers doesn't meant, but I'm I'm running them like a full output with the bass, and these speakers like a monster. They just they just taking it. Okay, okay, this part, that's it, that's it. I'm ending the video, guys, this part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a torture taste for this. All right, I'm out. I'll see you in the next video, guys. If you didn't subscribe to my channel, definitely subscribe it. I'm gonna run all kind of crazy stuff like this. Torture the speakers, giving the full bass. And yeah, the speaker is nice. Yeah, I put all the links in the description. I'll see you on the next video, guys.